I'm just packing the camera and the drone and everything and I'm heading down to the beach just for sunrise. One of my favourite things to do occasionally, so let's do it. Time to go home. You might be like, what? You just got here. Um, I've been here for a while, <laughs> just filming different clips and, and hanging out and enjoying the morning. But uh, yeah, I've got adulting stuff to do. Woohoo. Um, but like, even then, like, I enjoy being able to come out here, even if I have to get up at 4.30, even if I have to drive the whole way, um, just to enjoy a sunrise, enjoy, you know, some peace and quiet and watching the sun come up and the surfers come out and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, let's drive home. Woo! Yep, I cut straight to being home. Um, and I got coffee. So those are two great things. Now to go do some adulting. And then um, we'll get back to the rest of this video a little bit later. So, you know, you just rest up. Um, have a nap. Go get some snacks. Get a drink. And chill out. Because, you know, it's going to be like a whole, like, five seconds before you see what comes next, you know? See you later. It's that day today. Um, who knows how that'll turn out by the time you see this. But anyway, um, I'm hungry. So let's go get food. Welcome, we're home. Well, by we, I mean me. Um, I suppose you're here too. <laughs> um, this isn't sponsored, but these things are amazing. I eat too many of them. Um, they're like, it's like peanut butter in a pretzel in chocolate. Like, <laughs> three very amazing things. All right, enough about food. Um, I've kind of been thinking lately, not just thinking, more like reflecting, right? So I realized that this video is going to be my 30th video that I've made. And you know, that doesn't seem like much, but that's like 29 weeks of making videos once a week, every week. Like that's crazy, if not slightly more. Um, but it made me think being able to look back and see how I started and why I started and, and how things have progressed and how I've learned things. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really cool to be able to look at and see my growth, but uh, it made me think about something. Why, why don't you make videos? Like, why don't you make videos? And um, I kind of came up with three reasons why I think, personally, I think you should make videos. Uh, and those come down to um, three things. Number one, starting with being able to look back. So for me, being able to look back and see my first video and see why I started, the, the reasons I started, the choices that I was making at that time, um, it, it's really good to be able to see why I started it because 
it gives me a constant thing to check back on. Okay, am I sticking to that? Am I sticking to the things that, and the reasons why I started this channel? Um, plus also being able to look back and see, wow, like I got to do that. And wow, like that was cool. I enjoyed that video. Or wow, I had a really good time with those friends, with those people. Um, because a lot of it is just my experiences. It's just my adventures. It's just me having fun and with my friends and places I want to go and doing things I want to do and my friends want to do. Um, so I find that really cool to be able to look back, to just look back on, on those things and those awesome times I've had. And, and I think in like 50 years time, I'm going to be so grateful for that because I'm going to be able to go, yeah, like I can go watch that. I can go watch exactly the sort of stuff I got up to this year and in this year and in this year when this event happened and when this event happened. And yeah, I think that's really, really good for the, the future me to be able to come back and, and see that and see how my, you know, things have progressed and how I started there. The second reason why I think you should be making YouTube videos is it's a creative outlet. Now, you may not feel creative. Um, I certainly don't feel creative all the time, but having an environment, having a place where I can, you know, make a weird film about me and the stuff I'm doing and express myself creatively in however I want, um, like that's so valuable because life's going to be busy. There's always going to be telling people how you should and shouldn't be. And having an environment, a platform, or the idea of having videos to make yourself do how you want um, and just have the joy of being creative, having fun and making stuff you want to make um, is really good because not only does it help you be more creative, but it makes you more confident in yourself and in your creative abilities going forward. So that's the second reason why I think you should. I think this is definitely a really, really important one and was one of the main reasons why I started this channel in the first place was I wanted to have a creative outlet for myself. The third reason why I think you should make videos is to help you maintain and set goals. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'll start with an example. When I started this channel, I wanted to get better at my video editing, my photography and videography. And I can now look from this video that I'm doing right now, all the way back to the start and see, okay, have I gotten better? Um, and I can safely say in some areas, I've definitely gotten better at the way I, I edit videos and the way I take photos and take videos. But in other ways I can go, oh, hang on, like I need to put more time and more effort into learning these specific things so I don't become lazy or don't become complacent. And I know that's a really easy example because those skills are about the videos themselves, but I mean other things as well. By creating logs and of how I'm going, of how I'm feeling, of, of how you're going and how you're feeling, you'll be able to tell how you're, how you're going at that certain point, how your fitness goals are going at that certain point, how your dietary goals are set, going at that certain point. Like I can go, you know, in two months time and say, Jake clearly wasn't eating healthy at that time because he's eating peanut butter pretzel chocolate things. So now that I've just dropped those on the floor accidentally, um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's really helpful in helping me to maintain goals that I set and helping you to maintain goals you've set because you can look back and see how you've progressed, how those goals may need a shift, or if you've met those goals and need to set new ones, which is something I hadn't even thought of when I started this. Um, and it's really been helpful for me. The second part of why it's helpful with helping maintain and set goals is because I'm being held accountable. Um, and I don't mean like I'm sitting there and everyone's like, joke, you didn't do this. Um, they probably will may, and have eventually, but I know that when I put something out there saying that I'm going to do something, I'm going to hold myself accountable because I've just told everyone that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I know that if I don't hold myself accountable as a result of that, you guys will. The people watching this video, you right now will hold me accountable if I don't do it. So I think that's really, really important. And sometimes that can be a stress and a pressure that um, can be different. But if you're wanting to really achieve goals, really achieve things in your life, whether it's, you know, getting that fitness goal, getting your diet sorted, increasing that skill, um, increasing your, like your friend circles or changing communities, then having videos, making videos um, of yourself, 
even if you're not sharing them with other people, is going to help you to go further and achieve the things that you actually want to, which is, yeah, as I said, like not even something I'd thought of when I started this. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, no, I just dropped it again. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, that's my, that's my three thoughts on that. Um, anyway, um, I've got a bit more work to do, so. And we're back, and I'm back at the beach. <laughs> the exact same beach, actually. Um, I wanted to come back for sunset. Um, not only because I felt like it, and I haven't been out for a little bit, but the clouds are looking okay today. So, yeah, pretty good. Well, I found myself a spot up on this hill. The beach is down there, and I'm up here. You know, one struggle that I always have, I haven't said it on the videos before, is the constant struggle of whether to take a photo of something or a video of something. Like, it's an ongoing constant d debate with myself because something cool happened. It's like, do I take a photo of it or a video of it? Because I want to do both, but I have to prioritize one. Um, and tonight, I think I'm going to prioritize taking some photos um, with my drone, with my camera. So, yeah, so nice. I haven't been out and taken photos of the beach in Perth in so long, so it's going to be so good. Let's go do it. As you can tell, the <laughs> sunset didn't turn out quite as well as I expected. It looks pretty sick over here, like all pink and stuff. But anyway, um, I'm probably gonna head, well, not probably, I am gonna head home now. Um, just sitting in the sand as I say goodbye. Um, yeah, gonna get some food on the way. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, uh, I don't know, feel inspired to to make some videos for yourself because it, it will help you it will it will push you it will make you go further so yeah definitely do it um also definitely subscribe definitely like um, and i'll see you in the next video because you love watching my videos so <laughs> i'll see you then catch ya